Hello everyone. So today uh, I'm going to improve my pedestrian system I worked on before. So today I'm going to add uh, these uh, realistic looking human characters into this system where uh, this uh, previously I used the default human character default mannequin character instead of this human character. So I'm going to download uh, this uh, 3d scan people pack it is free i will show you the link later on so and i am going to use them instead of the base human character we had before so this is the system you will have at the end of this session these guys are working around the city and they are only using the walkways and the zebra crossings to cross the road so they are not working on the road and yeah let's see how to implement this system in this episode and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support right so this is my current pedestrian system so as i walk around the city i encounter these people actually it's just the same mannequin with different colors they just uh, follow the roads and go around, go about the world like this they follow the payment and use only the this zebra crossing so basically that's how they behave so i want to replace instead of these mannequins i want to use these models these models looks great and these models are from uh, this asset scan 3d people it is free so you can use that too so let's see how to so here I have uh, added that 3d scan people to a new project so I'm going to use these characters instead of the mannequins for these pedestrians so first uh, the reason to put this into a fresh project instead of adding it to the existing um, pedestrian system project is because I first wanted to check how is the skeleton and is it possible to use with this, uh, the walking animations of the mannequin actually they are using the mannequin the standard epic skeleton so it should not be a problem but these guys has some extra bones like uh, I saw this Joe and Joe N so uh, these are to make these characters have some token like this but it's not a problem because uh, the base skeleton is same as the epic skeleton so right now let's see where is this skeleton is so the skeleton is located under mannequin folder mannequin folder character and mesh so under that we have ua4 mannequin ua4 mannequin physics asset and you have for mannequin skeleton so if i go to my pedestrian project here also we have the mannequin folder under character we have mesh and under mesh we have sk mannequin sk mannequin physics asset and ua4 mannequin skeleton so i'm going to match this folder structure so this is ue4 mannequin so here instead of sk mannequin i'll use the same name so that when we migrate these characters that will be replaced so we would be able to use that animations the existing animations on these characters without any issue we can only do this because they share the same epic skeleton if it has a different skeleton it will not be possible right save the mesh 
uh, fix up redirectors if anything okay now where the characters are yeah let's let's migrate this whole scene we don't really need these static meshes but let's migrate this whole map which is rpc asset actions migrate mannequin character mesh let me double check mannequin character mesh right uh, okay now I have to select the pedestrian system pedestrians content uh, maybe we should close this project otherwise we could have right errors and migrate and it wants an asset already have mannequin skeleton yes so i'm gonna overwrite it all some files could not be copied let's see what are those files we can see them in here and output log we can see them in red color uh, uh, uh yes yeah, some materials all right yeah some materials so that's okay i guess all right now i'll reopen my pedestrians project okay here we have the pedestrian project and under 3d scan people we have these characters let's see let's preview this one with one of these characters okay they are working properly great now let's go to our pedestrian character where do we have the pedestrian okay here so instead of this mesh i want it to have different skeletal mesh so in the begin play yeah, i'll skip this body color now because we are going to have different skeletons so we need to randomize we don't uh, need to randomize the color so under begin play get mesh set skeletal mesh and let's select we have how many different meshes do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six options. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now here I'll add a random integer max value is six so something less than six will be the result of this node Carla Claudia Eric Manuel Nathan do we have any more options Uh, Sophia as well so we need one more option 
so here so I'll make this one 7 right now let's test not spot why is that all right here they are coming okay here are the pedestrians with proper meshes and yeah especially these animations so these girls these are not like girls actually that's because I have used the standard animations comes for the mannequin but you get the idea so if you have different animations you can use them so for now these are the ones I have so yeah so that's all I wanted to do here okay so we can stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available in the patreon page for the download link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club so see you in another episode goodbye